Canterbury has the most visited English cathedral, and it takes a skill more than photography to visit the town when it is quiet, and the cathedral when it is not crowded. It can be assumed that most photographers plan to take shots inside the cathedral, but if you have a moment, visit St. Martin's Church east of the cathedral city first. It is reckoned to be the oldest active church in the country, with old walls containing Roman tile, flint and brick. It is important enough to be a World Heritage Site, along with the cathedral, next of course on our photo list. Taking pictures inside a church or a cathedral raises the art of photography to a new level. What the eyes see cannot always be repeated in camera. Apart from people, the main problem is contrast. A cloudy day reduces the level of contrast, but the most challenging days are full sun, fine for the outside, more difficult inside a Norman building. It also applies to stained glass. Although you might not think it, even away from direct sunlight, if it is the photographer's intention to give an accurate record, it is all too easy to burn out, that is, overexpose, highlights when shown with rich colour. Canterbury Cathedral became a place of pilgrimage for Thomas Beckett, Archbishop of the Cathedral, who was brutally murdered by four knights in the 12th century. His body was placed in the crypt, and two days later there began a series of miracles that warranted his canonization. A 13th century stained glass window in the north aisle of the Trinity Chapel portrays Thomas Beckett. My technique for photographs of high contrast is to take control, the technique being experience. For windows, I spot meter a highlight, save the raw and, if necessary, correct any underexposure in Adobe Lightroom. Now, for the big interiors, it is very much the same, but I spot a meter near, but not on, near a highlight, instead of, of course, directly on it. This is important when the composition is a bright window set within a dark interior, and Norman churches are the most problematic, because those windows are smaller. Incidentally, all shots are handheld. Canterbury Cathedral is exceedingly rich in highlights. Now, my personal choice, out of many, are the Bell Harry Tower, Trinity Chapel and the Corona. Following what I hope will be a successful and rewarding shoot for you, don't forget the Great Cloister and Old Palace. <laughs>